Yo, what's up, guys? It's your boy here and Microsoft Tech Support here. We are just a week away from Extreme Rules as of the recording of this video. Extreme Rules this year looks great. It looks perfect. Obviously, this is just a small video of me talking how great Extreme Rules looks and talking about the match card. This match card is perfect. This match card is amazing, and I don't think the WWE needs to add more matches. I don't really... They, I don't think they should add any more. I think these six matches here are just perfect. They're amazing. This is actually a great match card. Like We have so many matches here. And I want to talk about how excited I am. But let's, let's get to the match card. All right, so the first matchup we have is obviously the first one I'm excited for. It is for the SmackDown Women's Championship. We have Liv Morgan versus Ronda Rousey in an Extreme Rules match. This match is going to steal the show. It, I really thought this rivalry would have got stale, but Triple H made it amazing. If Vince ran this damn beat Ronda Rousey, that she needs to take, that she can take anything seriously. She, I can't wait to see what these two bring at Extreme Rules. The next on the list is Bianca Belair versus Bayley for the Raw Women's title. I think this one is the least interesting one, but I'm still hyped for it because it's a ladder match, more interesting. But Bianca Belair versus Bayley, I don't have many thoughts on it because I feel like this match is probably the least excited. I'm lackluster. It has been underwhelming. We we just need something new. Like I feel like Bayley could deliver more with the Raw Women's title, even though I don't like Bayley. I don't. It it we just need to see something interesting from the Raw Women's Champion. Oh boy, so we have Matt Riddle versus Seth freaking Rollins inside the fight pit, and this is gonna be a banger. I couldn't stop talking about this match because Matt Riddle and Seth Rollins are just two of the most talented wrestlers we have today, and then their matchup at Clash at the Castle, it was pretty good. But inside the fight pit where no one can leave, it's just those two in the ring by themselves. Now that is going to be exciting. That is going to be thrilling. And then we have Drew McIntyre versus Karrion Cross, And this one is pretty interesting. This one's pretty interesting. We've known Karrion Cross to attack Drew McIntyre all these weeks. And I really want to see the payoff. I want to see who wins. And I wonder who will win. Will Karrion Cross actually defeat Drew McIntyre? Or will Drew take a, or will Drew take a win on this one? I just don't know. It's kind of... Interesting, because they can't make Karrion Cross lose early, but you have to make Drew McIntyre look like a main eventer, even though if he loses, like, wins and losses don't matter in WWE. This is very interesting to see where these two go off. Like, if Drew wins, will this be another shot at Roman? Will, like, will he get him back up there to Roman? Or if Karrion Cross wins, will it, hit, will it get him up to, like, more of a top mid-card status. We just had to wait and see the outcome of this match because it sounds very interesting. And next up on the list, we have Edge versus Finn Balor in an I Quit match. So we have the current leader of the Judgment Day versus the former leader of the Judgment Day. Not much to say here because, you know, this feud just started with Edge and Finn Balor. Even though Finn ba Edge has been feuding with the Judgment Day for a while. But Edge versus Finn Balor is something very... Very intriguing, very something interesting I would see. I want to see who would win that I Quit match. But hearing what WWE and like executives are saying, they want to give Finn Balor a monster push. It could, you know, Finn Balor could win this matchup or Edge could surprise us all. So that I Quit match, I am excited to see. And the last match we have here is the Brawling Brutes versus Imperium in a six-man tag team good old-fashioned Donkey Brook match. I don't know why I said it like that. So the Brawling Brutes and Imperium, and I, I thought we would have saw Sheamus versus Gunther for the Intercontinental title, but we're getting the Brawling Brutes versus Imperium? I don't know what a good old-fashioned Donnie Brook match is, but if it's something extreme, I'm all for it. But we knew Sheamus versus Gunther was, was going to deliver at Clash at the Castle, and it, it is considered match of the year. I just can't wait to see what Brawling Brutes and Imperium have in store, because... Imperium are a great tag team, and Brawling Brutes have really shown more impressiveness to the to everybody. I've been impressed, and I really thought the Brawling Brutes would have been just a tag team that would have just faded away into obscurity. 
But the Brawling Brutes have really shown a lot of improvement, a lot of more interest lately. And same thing with Imperium, you know, Brigan. Fabian Eichner back, or whatever his new name is. I haven't been catching up with SmackDown lately. But the Brawling Brutes and Imperium, that is going to be a show stealer right there. So yeah, that is the whole match card for Extreme Rules, unless WWE updates it with more matches. But honestly, just keep the match like this. The match card already looks perfect and great. Just six matches, and plus the longer it goes, the more extreme it gets. Like, let them deliver what they can deliver. Just don't add anything else. Extreme Rules this year is actually looking like Extreme Rules, and it is looking amazing. A lot of these matches I am very interested in and could be a great outcome for the future of these superstars. But yeah, man, those are all my thoughts on the whole, the whole Extreme Rules match card. I am excited for October 8th. That is all for today. Thank you all for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure you guys RKO that like button and hit a super kick on that subscribe button. And make sure you guys follow my Instagram down in the description below to make sure I post, you know, more photos, you know, give me more likes, you know. But that is all for today. Thank you all for watching. And Microsoft Tech Support is out.